In this video, I'm going to show you how you can schedule your crew AI agents for news aggregation. And we're going to create one more crew with a custom tool. Okay, so to begin cutting for day six, the first thing we are going to do is create the other tool that I mentioned. And instead of just creating a brand new crew, I just copied day five and pasted as day six and just changed a couple of the things that said day five crew and now it's day six crew uh, because we're adding on to the previous days. We're not creating something brand new this time. Okay, so there's a few things. We are creating a new crew as well, just to show you that you can have multiple crews in the flow. Now remember the flow was a powerful feature that we went over last time. It's a brand new feature from Crew AI, well, as of this video. So what we're gonna do is in day, you know, in day five, we had the source, we had source, and then we had a tools folder. So in day six, we had the same tools folder, except we had the original custom Serper dev tool but also I created a new custom file writer tool. Now there are plenty of ways to uh, write a file and do all kinds of things with it, but I just want to give you more practice for creating a file or for creating a tool that can do something for us and we can modify it to do a little bit more than what we want. So what we have to do first is I created a class called custom file writer tool with the base tool. And you can just follow along. I do have all this code in my GitHub um, and, all, and any other links for the code in the description below. So you can follow along easily. You don't have to write all of this out. There's a lot, there's a, some things that are being rearranged in this video. So just kind of follow along with me or you can pause as you go and write it to yourself. And for any custom tool, you need a name and description. You need a, you need the underscore run function so that it knows that this is how it executes the tool whenever it gets to the certain agent that, that it's attached to. So we're going to have the file name and the content as part of the inputs for this tool. So we're going to give it the content and we're going to give it the file name. Okay. So I want the file name to be unique because again, we're scheduling something. So every day, or if you want it to be every other minute, every hour, whatever it is, I want to have a timestamp so that the files that I'm writing all this information to are unique. Okay, and just in case the file name doesn't end with a dot ND for markdown, we just make sure that we add the dot markdown to it. And I'm going to create an output directory called AI news. You can change this however you want. You can actually add this as another uh, parameter into the function, whatever you'd like to do, right? That's the great thing about custom tools is you can modify it to what you want or how it's going to suit your needs. So if the output directory doesn't exist. So we don't have an output directory here called AI news yet. So for the first time, it's going to create it. Otherwise, if it already exists, it's not going to do anything. Okay. So we just get the file path, combining it with the output directory and the file name. And then all it does is it writes the content that's being given as an input to this function and writes it to that file path. And that's it. And how did I do this? Well, in cursor, you can type in, you can just, well, on the Mac, it's command I, you bring up the composer. You can create a new one inside here. You're going to say, uh, I, I need a custom function that will create a file in the directory called whatever. So AI news. And then you could also say, you know, I need two parameters or three or four, whatever, and then give it the parameters and describe them here. And it'll create, this, that's all I did. And it created this for me in just the, in just seconds, right? That's all I did here. So, okay. Now that we have that, what we need is another crew. We already had the crew. This is the, this was the day five crew, but I copy and pasted this. So this is the day six crew. So this is the same crew from the past few videos that we've made for the past few days, but I created another one called file writer crew. And this is the same thing with the crew base. We have one agent for writing it, the one task, this, which is the writing task. And then we have the crew. Okay. Now for now what's a little different is because there's agents in the task or this is for a different crew, you can't put these into the same configuration. So let's fix that really quick. So you can see here we go, the default is a config directory and then the agents.yaml, but I added a file writer folder as well. So if you go to the config and you see we had the agents in the task, this is the research and the reporting task and agent, just like we had before, That's that has not changed, but I had to add a file writer directory for the new agent and the new task. Okay. And this is because this is how it separates all the crews. If I were to just add the right task um, or the writer agent to the regular agents YAML file, because the first crew that gets all the, uh, all the news from the Google search and then scrapes all the websites, it'll say, I'm not using this one. Why is it here? Basically that's what the error will say. 
And so you have to separate them out as their own configuration. Okay, so once you have that, we have the agent in the in the right task. This is just, you know, this is just simple. There's nothing crazy about this. You can modify this prompt as you wish. And then the next thing is let's go back to the file writer crew. So here we have to import the custom writer tool. We have the writer agent. So we get the writer agent name and all the properties from the YAML file. We want it to use the custom writer tool. And then the right task, it just gets the right task from the task YAML property. And then we create the crew. And then that we're almost done. Remember, I said that we're gonna schedule this, right? This is the part where, there's, this is the automated part that we're about to do next. So we have the tool, the, the YAML property files for the agents, for the new agents in the new task. Now, uh, before we had a main Python file back in day five, or well, really day four, and we don't use that anymore, we have the workflow that we created last time, okay? So not much has changed here. I wanna keep this, except for when we go to save the news, instead of just having it right to the file, we're gonna use our new crew. It's gonna call the crew, and it's gonna use the writer agent to save it the way we want to, okay? So let's go through that real quick. We still have the generate news topic from last time. It generates the news, just like with the, this is the day six crew. So this is the crew that we've been using the past couple of videos. It's just, I just renamed it for the day six folder. So this is the day six crew, which has the same two agents we've been using. We have another listener that writes news, but except this time in day five, let's go there just real quick, real quick. In the my flow, when we went to save the news, you can see here that we basically just created the directory and it did all this for us, right? But in the new one, we're getting we're getting the news from the state, which we when we generated the news, we saved the output from that crew as in the state variable or in the state property. So we're just getting that again, and then we're printing it. And then this is where we have the input. So it has to be a dictionary whenever you kick off a crew, right, as the input. So up here, so up here, the inputs, we had a dictionary. So it got the news topic that was generated. It has to be a dictionary. So we gather the news from the state. And we say file writer crew dot crew dot kickoff. So now this is our second crew that we have created, and it's all a part of this flow. And then we just say the file has been successfully written. And then everything else stays the same except Again, this is scheduled. So here's how I'm gonna show you how to schedule this. And so this is really similar to before, right? So I have a run flow method, which just instantiates the news flow class, the flow, and then we just have the kickoff. That stays the same. So then I have a main method that just, you know, I just have a simple print statement saying that in this example, because I wanna show you it's running back to back instead of waiting every day. You can say the flow schedule is scheduled to run every minute. Then it's, there's just a while true and it's gonna wait for the run flow. So it's gonna call the it's gonna call the flow here and run it. Then it's gonna wait 60 seconds and run it again. Okay, this is one way. Again, I just went into cursor, opened up the composer and said, can you can you make this class into a schedule for every minute? Okay, that's all I did, and it created this for me. Okay, this is really simple. That's a great thing about uh great thing about cursor is it actually wrote all this for me. Trust me, I did not write this. We have something scheduled that's gonna gather news done every morning, you can do it every night, whatever it is. So it started the flow, it, it got the news topic for generative AI models, it looks like it might just do the same thing. You can probably add the prompt so make sure it's different, or you can do other things to make sure this is different. Um, but it generates, you know, it, this goes in the first workflow where it has the senior news researcher. They go out and gather from the Serper dev tool, the custom one we made, it got, gathers 20. Uh, 20 results, and then it looks like it chooses 10 from them, passes that on to the reporting analyst. So the reporting analyst takes that information and it gets the output. So it looks, it gives like a better, like kind of like markdown from it or, and summarizes everything. And then we save the news. So now it's gonna save the news into a file for us using our new custom file writer. And it did. So the agent, the markdown file writer agent, it took all those. It uh, right, instead of write it down to the uh, to the markdown file, it's using the custom file writer tool that we created, and the output is that it saved it to AI News and then latest news on generative AI with the timestamp. So we could go to AI News, click on this. I can bring this down a little bit, and this is the file that it generated. 
Okay, and then it looks like it said the file was successfully written. That is generating the best news, right? So once all of this is done, right? Once all that is done, it got the best news article that it thought, and it was something about Microsoft launching new healthcare AI tools from six, six hours ago. And then the news is complete, okay? And then it's starting the flow again. I know the time is actually 152, so it's more like a few minutes. And I think what this code is actually doing, because I didn't really test this, right? I just had to write this for me. Um, this is, again, the power of cursor. Uh, it looks like it's after after the run flow is finished, then it waits a minute and then it'll run it again. So that's what that's what happened, right? So it waited a minute. So it was around 151 when it finished and then it started the flow again. And it's just going to keep doing this and doing this every time. So the agent went out, uh, it got right here. It said it got 20 more results. Um, it shows nine of them this time. And so the report analyst is going to um, kind of put all that together and then it's going to send it to the save news crew. So that crew, that new crew that we created, the file writer crew, it's going to take that and then actually save it to a file in the AI news folder is already here. So you can see it's going to save it as, you know, we, it looks like it looks like it kind of the, the file, the ending file name is a little messed up, add another dot EMD to it but it's fine, it's still a markdown file. So here in a minute, it should also save another file because it, with a new timestamp. And look at that, it does. Here is the second file. And this is, you can see, you can do more with this. You can make sure that the file name is a little bit, like it's more consistent. Um, you can change what's actually in there. If you wanna add something before the file and at the, at, at the end file, at the beginning of the file, you can do all this because we have written a custom tool for that. And as you can see, it gave us the best news from those results from this run. And then it's, it's waiting 60 seconds now. It's going to run again. Of course, you can have it scheduled to be at a specific time every day. This was just one way to schedule it, right? There are going, there are probably more ways. But this is just how AI wrote, it, wrote the case for me, but it might write differently for you. Now, in the next video, we're going to see how to integrate Agent Ops with all of our crews. This is going to allow us to see how much everything costs, how much tokens we used, and much more. As always, the videos are in the description below. And in the meantime, here are some more videos and I'll see you next one.